with Southeast Green. We are here with Matthew, a 2017 Volt owner. Matthew, tell us about your Volt. Well, this is my uh, 2017 Volt. I got it in March and I put about 9,000 miles on it. Um, it is a dream to drive. It is seriously the fastest thing off the line I've ever driven. And um, I absolutely love this car. All right, you have a really funny saying about this car, so tell us the saying. Well, I drive it like I stole it because it's cheap to drive, whether you're driving fast or slow. And you get all of the power of the car off the line. So you put your foot down on the pedal, you get all of the power the car has to offer. And it's just instantly quick. And how long have you owned it? I've owned it since March, so about... Six, seven months now. Now, we were noticing the irony that you have a Tesla shirt on, but you are a Volt driver. Tell us what you were telling about the money value of Volt versus Tesla. So I actually went and test drove a P90D just for fun, because I obviously I don't have $120,000 to drop on a car. But that is an incredible car. I would say dollar for dollar, this is about a quarter as fast as a Tesla P90D, which is one of the fastest cars you can buy on the road right now. This drives like a Tesla does. It just feels a little bit, it's like a cheaper Tesla. It really is. Now, how often do you switch? Because this is truly a hybrid. You can put gas in it. Well, day to day, if I'm just driving myself to work, I live about 16 miles from work. I never use any gas. If I drive my wife to work and I double back, I drop her off at North Spring Station from her site. Um, that's about 70 miles a day, and I use about a quarter of a gallon. All right, so I want to I want to be really clear here because we sort of think of of EVs being sort of like a, for those of us in Atlanta an inside the perimeter event. But now you're you are way out. I mean, yeah. you're not just outside the perimeter. You're way outside the perimeter. So what what drove you to get the Volt? Well, I like the innovative things that EVs are doing right now, but I didn't want to get a leaf because I was worried about the range restrictions. And what I found is that 90% of the time, unless I'm doing the whole like to North Springs and whatnot, I never really have to use the engine. Um, now yesterday I was doing, I was in Decatur, we were doing a service project at work, and I actually did fill up, I filled up about half a tank, it was four gallons, and I used a gallon to get from my house to work to Decatur and then back. Wow, that's amazing. So. Do you feel, I'm we, I, um, at Southeast Green, we were up for the release of the 2017 in Detroit, and there was a lot of enthusiasm. Do you feel like the upgrades from the old Volt, Volt to the 2017 are, are worth it? Absolutely. Um, I will say, this does cost about twice as much as a used um, first-gen Volt does now. I can't say that dollar for dollar that makes sense for everybody, but I was enthusiastic enough about the upgrades that I bought new, and I don't regret it one bit. Um, every single thing on this car is an improvement from the first generation, which is already a great car. Um, and I absolutely, the second gen is what I think people really need to see in an EV. It looks like a normal car, it's sportier, it drives really nicely. Great. Thanks so much, Matthew. All right.